In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace your AC condenser on your Ford Ranger. It's located behind the radiator in front of the car. Make sure that you go down to your local shop and have your AC system evacuated. All right, so you're going to take out this hose for your air box. Take this harness bracket out of the alternator bracket. Using an eight millimeter socket, we're going to take off our air box. This to get it out of the way. All right, and now you're just going to take that off using your pry bar if needed. Now I'm going to undo my air box over here by flipping up these tabs, picking it up. Be careful with the wires and just move it off to the side. So we're going to remove the fan clutch at this point. We're going to use this fan clutch tool. You can use an air hammer with it as opposed to the other kind with a by hand. It makes it a little easier. It is reverse thread so you're going to go clockwise from your point of view looking at the engine. So once you get that loose, you can just go ahead and spin the fan off. Now the fan is off, we are going to take our shroud out. Using a 10 millimeter socket, we're gonna take out these bolts. There's another one on the other side. Next, we're going to take the fan and the shroud out at the same time. So you want one hand on your fan and one on the shroud. And you're going to pick it up and pull it out. Just be careful you don't hit your radiator. All right, next we're going to use a 10 millimeter again. And we're going to undo our two bolts for the radiator. So now we're going to pick this up a little bit and pull it away. Just watch out for your transmission lines. Okay, so in order to get to this condenser in the back, we need to push our radiator forward. Just be gentle. Doesn't need a whole lot of force, but I am going to use a bungee cord to hold it away. All right, using an eight millimeter, we are going to take out these brackets for the condenser. You're going to just take that whole thing out. I'm going to use a 13 millimeter socket and a swivel, and I'm going to disconnect my AC lines. All right, now that you've taken those nuts off, you can take your lines off of your condenser. All right, so now we're gonna disconnect this one and just set that off to the side. And now we should be able to take our condenser out. So you're gonna push the radiator forward. You're gonna grab a hold of it. And you should be able to just pull it right out. Be careful not to dent your radiator. All right, so we're going to inspect our O-ring. These actually look pretty good. So I'm going to just put a little oil on them. If your O-rings don't look good, you're going to want to replace them. All right, so now here we are. We're going to put our 
new condenser in. I'm going to push my radiator forward and gently shimmy it by. Be careful not to dent the fins on your radiator or your new condenser. All right, so that little square down there is where you're going to line up your bracket at the bottom of the condenser. You got one on each side. You're going to know when you're in because it's not going to rock from side to side. You'll still be able to move it like this. So we need these studs on our new condenser, so we're going to transfer them over. If your studs are stuck, this is a good way to get them unstuck. You're going to put your one of your nuts that came off these studs on backwards first. And then put the other nut on. You're going to get a 13 millimeter socket and a 13 millimeter wrench. You're going to hold the inside nut while you tighten this one. And then you can unscrew your stud. Now before I unscrew it completely, I'm going to hold it still and undo the nut. And take this one off. And then you can take your stud out and transfer it to your new condenser. You can do this inside the vehicle or before you put your condenser in. So we're going to insert our studs. Once you thread that in, you can place your line inside. And then you can install your nut. We are going to be torquing these to six foot pounds or 71 inch pounds. Okay. And we're going to do the same on the other side. And now I'm going to install my nut. All right, so we're going to snug this up and then torque it to six foot pounds or 71 inch pounds as well. All right, after you have your lines attached and torqued, we are going to put this bracket in. And you're going to put your bolt in. Using an 8 millimeter socket, we're going to tighten up this bracket. Do the same on the other side. So now you can hook up your radiator using your bolt and snug this up once it's tight go about a quarter of a turn do the same on the other side all right so now we're going to put our fan and shroud in together start it there hold my fan on the other side All right, so now we're going to get our fan on the water pump. And we're going to thread it on to the left, not the right. It is opposite to the typical um, tightening. I'm going to use a 7 8 Our fan is pretty banged up, so your size may be different. But I'm going to use a 7 8 wrench because that's working for us.
All right, so the torque spec for the fan clutch is 41 foot-pounds. If you can get a torque wrench in there with a crow's foot, I'm just going to give it a good bonk with my wrench and a rubber mallet. Line up our shroud, bolt, and make sure everything's where it belongs. Get your bolts started, and you can tighten those down. All right, so we can put our air box back. Do that. You're just going to slide it into the brackets over here. Line it up. Put your accordion back on the throttle. Once you get that side on, you can tighten it down with an eight millimeter. Make sure your air box is locked in to the back bracket and push down on the tabs in the front. All right, now you're gonna put this back in your alternator bracket and you can put your hose back in your air box tube. You're going to want to service your AC at this point, so go down to your local shop and have them service it. Make sure that it checks for leaks and make sure your AC is running cold. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.